There is a decision. It is unanimous. Pete Williams, I believe, is ready to go for us now. Pete, are you with us? Sure. So this was not the question of whether they can be paid. This was the next best thing to being there. This was a question about whether the NCAA rightly wanted to stop universities from giving what were called education-related benefits to athletes. This would be something like computers, lab equipment, uh, musical instruments, allowing them to take internships, uh, that sort of thing. Not the compensation question. And the NCAA has lost this case. The NCAA went to the Supreme Court and said, please don't allow this to go into effect. Let us keep this in place. Let us continue to, re to resist the ability for uh, amateur athletics to be compensated. They lost the case, and this comes at sort of a pivotal moment for the NCAA because, right. in theory, the NCAA is meeting this month to decide what to do about this uh, growing number of states that are passing laws, I think it's up to 15 now, that say student athletes should be able to be, get some compensation for the use of their likenesses, their image, their names, uh, which would allow them, for example, perhaps to endorse products or, or promote products on the internet. Uh, the NCAA is trying to decide what to do. They were hoping that this Supreme Court decision, if it went in their favor, would be something of a firewall against these sort of changes, but they can't rely on that now. Right. Uh, they made this appeal to the Supreme Court of, uh, you know, don't uh, don't go further down this path, and the Supreme Court said no. Now, interestingly enough, this case involved antitrust laws, and here's why. Uh, if the NCAA imposed these rules nationwide, it would make, make it harder for, for schools to compete for athletes, which would in theory violate antitrust laws. But the Supreme Court has made a sort of exception to NCAA, and that's, that's, that's the law that was at the heart of this case. But in any event, this is a loss for NCAA, and it seems like a further step toward allowing student athletes to get some benefits uh, even, you know, in the, in the fact that their schools get enormous benefits from their right. play, they don't get much. And that's been the issue here. So it's a loss for the NCAA. Right. And one of the, you know, you look at, for example, the, the, pay, uh, the pay for coaches, for example, for NCAA schools, <laughs> right. D1 schools yeah. in particular, that has come up. Pete, pull on this thread a little bit because I want to be really clear here. So it's not, you're right, it's not cash, right? It's not about whether athletes can, like, get cash for playing. But it is, it is benefits in some way. And is this not a little bit of, of opening the door um, to the potential for athletes to get paid down the road, which, as you note, is working on kind of a separate track with this name, image, likeness uh, discussion happening over on the legislative side? So to be clear, these benefits were uh, education-related, right. academic, non-athletic. And wasn't there a cap, too? Yes, that was the issue here. Uh, and, and this was sort of unrelated to athletics. This was related to uh, education, to classes, to academics. So the other side of this question is compensation for what they do out on the playing fields and the basketball courts and the swimming pool and so forth. And uh, that was not an issue with this case, but... It's a loss for NCAA, and it seems that, that their ability to hold the line here is eroding. Pete, I don't know if you can hang for one second, because I do want to ask you, maybe I'll ask you now. I know Kavitha Davidson, sports and culture writer for The Athletic, is standing by. Um, but Pete, quickly, is there another case that is maybe working its way through the system that could address that broader question on athlete payment? I think the broader question is one that the NCAA is confronted with right now. They presumably were going to meet this month to decide what to do. Forget the court cases. This is moving so fast in the states yeah. that the NCAA is trying to decide what to do about it, whether to allow some compensation for the use of an athlete's image or likeness or name. 